Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Hades. Uh, so I've been thinking about keepsakes for today. Again, trying to do something a little bit different uh, than we have been doing with the coin purse. And I'm wondering if maybe today is a good time to try to force that uh, that Dionysus Poseidon duo boon as early as possible. And then just reap the rewards for it as, as early in the run as we can. So if we did that, we'd probably want to start with either... Poseidon or Dionysus' uh, keepsake right now, right? We're pretty close to leveling Dionysus up. I'm trying to think, who do I think is better for a spear run? We could potentially um, take push on attack and just have like a real keep away build. You know, the spear is so good at attacking at such a distance. We could basically use it like the gun a little bit. And given that we're going to be up against uh, the chariot chain gun guy and a more terrifying Zeus. Maybe playing at a distance is exactly what we want to do. It also means a pushback on attack would give us pushback on the spin attack, which, you know, it hits such a large area. It's going to shove people into walls. It's going to shove people into each other. I think that might be our aim for today. And let me just make sure that I know um, how this boon actually works. Uh, the duo boon we're looking for is... Oh, that's interesting. Maybe we could also angle for this and just like just get a whole lot of really powerful boons going. This exclusive access. So any one of the basic five boons from each of the gods. Okay, that's interesting. What what cast boon do we want? I'm trying to figure out like if we're gonna take a Dionysus boon, if we're gonna take pushback on attack, which I think is interesting. It doesn't really make a lot of sense to go for Dionysus on special. We're not going to be specialing often enough, probably. Uh, you know, the dash, the cast, and the call are all reasonable, probably. Yeah, okay. Well, let's get out there like this and see how it turns out. And I did, I really considered uh, trading in three more, uh, <laughs> three more, uh, what do you call it, Ambrosia for... Uh, blood and then upgrading the spear again. I think I'm gonna hold off. We're gonna try it at 60%. What's life without a little pain? So every spin attack gets us the 10 seconds. And sent to Asphodel, Elysium, or Tartarus. We keep the process neat and orderly. Everyone gets in, no one gets out. Well, almost no one. No one gets out. us that you've come very far indeed, nephew. Striking distance from the surface. You just keep at it like that, and with our help, we'll have you out of there for sure. Uh, okay. I mean, we could take Floodshot. The thing is, I really, I think it, I think it's really good on our attack. I think it's pretty bad on our special. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the reroll, I think. I would like none of these. Okay. 30% is less than I would have liked. It's a real bummer that this is the only thing we've been offered that is common, but I do think it's right. Out of my way. Okay, I did I misunderstand how this works? The foes, it's not a 10 second damage bonus on me, it's a 10 second damage bonus on them. Okay, so yes, I did misunderstand how this works. And it only makes them take enhanced special... Wow. Wow, the area on that is huge. Uh, it, it, it's only enhanced damage from our attack and special. Okay, so we're probably going to end up... We're going to be doing, like, pushbacks into throwing the spear or dash attacking. Let that guide our choice of boons. That being the case, weaken on spear throw I think is probably pretty good. trying to get the uh, get the hang of exactly how long I have to charge here. I want to be able to execute this as quickly as possible. You know I would do anything to have you here among us, don't you, love? Oh, I just hope my blessings are enough. Uh or we could we could passion dash for the 
The thing is, I think the spin attack's gonna push people away from us before this weekend could apply. So this is just gonna be sort of our, like, stand and fight option. We keep people at a distance, and then when it's actually time to fight, we do a lot of this nonsense. I really like all the little particles displaying the, uh, the favor of the gods whose boons you've taken. And plus, we can do a lot of shoving enemies into things very effectively with the spear. I like the fact that it's basically a ranged weapon already. So we... Against difficult enemies, we dash in with a spin attack. Delicious. Then we throw a very, very high damage heartbreak, heartbreak flourish at them, and then uh, from there, who knows? Hmm. There are a number of hammer uh, boons that affect the spin attack, and I think I would really like to get one of those early. I know turning down early Artemis seems pretty wild, especially when it's our first Artemis boon. But I think I, I think I actually am going to take the hammer. We're gonna, we're gonna be varying some things up, you know. Money. <laughs> hey, money, coins. And what I love about Zagreus is he never fails to appreciate the little things. Okay, that's a pretty significant amount of damage. Helps if you hit. We mustn't be afraid to just play pushback. Pushback is a very effective game, it turns out. Now to fix up this spear. Okay, uh, so... We only got one of the spin attack things, and I don't necessarily think it's amazing, but getting hit while charged up is, is definitely a bummer. See, this this is a base damage modifier, though. I think we're gonna try this. My spear grows stronger. So is this is this area right here where we don't actually do damage? It's not clear to me where the top of the charge is. I wish it I wish it flashed a little. The point of the spear flashes, but I know it doesn't give us a power shot, but I would like a power shot style notification for it all the same. I think we're gonna take the Right now I would not feel comfortable going to the shop. This would put us over. But also we're using a melee-ish weapon at 105 health. I'm gonna take the heart for right now. Well, I mean, that's definitely starting to feel like more damage. And that's without me charging. 212 on the way out. That plus backstab on the way back. Yeah, against against actually difficult enemies. I think this is gonna this is really gonna be nice. Okay, well, apparently, nope, never mind. We're taking the money. I'm in. This is 200 gold. It's different math. Let's hear it. How about a little contest, boy? I mean, even with our melee attacks, we can still fight from quite a safe distance. And also, we can pierce enemy projectiles from quite a safe distance. How many little tiny enemies need to spawn? Oh, I was trying to catch the, uh, catch the skull with the pullback there.
It really is remarkable. Like, if you think about the rooms in terms of each one having a spawning budget, it really is remarkable how little regard the, same, the game seems to have for the casters as enemies. Like, they, they count as such a tiny fraction of a guy. Don't you dare. Eluded all of them. Phew. Could have been done with a little bit more bravery, I suppose. Hmm. Well, with 400 gold, I would often be inclined to go to the shop over taking a boon, but since we know we're going to be getting an enhanced rarity boon, it does change things a little bit. Although, obviously, neither one of these are the ones that we most want. What do we need to get that, um, that palm duo from these two? Because getting that on, getting that early on is obviously, oh, we're there already. All right. So do we take another god for family favorite, or do we try to get that palm boon as early as we can so it's actually really effective? I think we go for the the latter, and listen, we'll get we'll get gods. We'll be fine. Oh hey, it's my favorite mini boss. Okay, can't help but notice that I'm not able to move. Also can't help but notice that the, uh, the Doomstone is not actually taking the... Hi, Aphrodite. It's not putting the symbol of the debuff above its head. I wonder if it is immune to that debuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I'll just take this. What a team. Palms are more effective. I wonder if that applies to the boost that you get from the Palm Blossom. We may have to find out. Like obviously we'll take uh, we'll take Dionysus's keepsake next, but maybe we palm blossom through Elysium. Oh, he wasn't even pushed back. Cool. Oh, swing and a miss. I am playing real sloppy here. Got it. We gotta tighten this up a little bit if we're going to have any chance of making it through at all. Uh, yeah, we gotta go see our friend, right? I have a nectar for him. Well, if it isn't you, hello, sir. It is. It is, in fact, me. Who would have thought? Wow, your highness, you—you you really shouldn't have. Thank you for not forgetting about me. You're always a sight for sore eyes out here, Sisyphus. Thank you for always believing in me. I feel like we see him way, way less often than we see the others. Where are we at on your... Okay, we're at four already. We're getting there. Hey, Your Highness, anything the matter or just passing through? Happy that we get to chat like this of late, of course. Sisyphus, don't take this the wrong way, but why are you helping me? My father stuck you here for an eternity of torment, and even still, you greet me with a smile time after time. <laughs> Come now, Prince said. That's just the way I am. Besides, you're not your father, thank the gods. You always seemed a decent lad to me. And if you're saying you want out of here, why, I suppose I can relate, is all. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Obviously, it's a, it resonates a little bit more if you have that conversation before you uh, hit credits. <laughs> So we don't really need that much health, but we really don't need money either. Where are we at? We're at chamber 10, so it's going to be boss time soon. I'm going to I guess I'm going to take the money. It's all yours. Cheers, mate. Just thinking we probably won't spend a death defiance against the boss, right? I think we will probably take the Chaos Gate, even though even though we'll have the uh, the penalty during the boss fight. Because I think we can probably handle it here. 
But obviously, that's reliant on us not getting a really, really bad luck. Oh. Oh, but... But these would be fun to have. Huh. You know what? I think we're going to skip Chaos and take the Trial. And I know, a more effective Pomegranate, but Trial. I, I'm definitely more inclined to take Pomegranates in general this run. Just not right now. Looks like so who are we more worried about? Probably Aphrodite? Or probably, probably Poseidon, rather. I think I can handle the Aphrodite penalty better. Just as I thought. Okay, I think Breaking Wave is going to be really good, actually. We're real good at that. You dare to play with my heart, little godling? I'll just take yours and shatter it to pieces then, I think. She'll get over it. Yeah, she'll come around. No big deal. She's angry now. There's the heart. Heart's coming. Oh, God. Yeah, wow, that's a lot of damage. Pulling the spear back to you keeps you completely immobilized for the uh, duration of the travel time. So, very nearly got us hurt very badly there. Yeah, wow, that's effective. Let's just say we kissed and made up, dearest. Just do not anger me again, or I might come down and kill you there myself. I appreciate her directness. Uh, hmm. I mean, Passion Dash isn't bad. I do think I would probably... I will benefit from Dionysus' cast enough. Yeah, keeping enemies kind of in place. Yeah, okay, I think that's the plan then. We'll take Dionysus on the cast, we'll take Passion Dash. Let's break some hearts. And then we will also shop. We will employ the pre-boss shop. Where we will buy a boon and a pomegranate. Right? Right? Oh, you know what, I'll take that. That's fine. Just what I need. Hmm. Probably urge to kill here? We definitely don't want to drop our push. Yeah. Um, side hustle makes a lot of sense. Okay. This could get a little ugly. I'm back, ladies. Murder. All right, well, we get to fight my favorite. And then she immediately totally kicks my ass. Where'd she? Wow, she really traveled on that one. And then did not travel on that one for some reason. Oh, this is bad. Okay. Being chased around the room by the Blade Rift definitely adds a, uh, a level of difficulty to this particular fight. And it's only gonna get worse, huh? Yeah, man. That's wild. The, um... Oof. Really bad work. The distance that... Uh, the punishing sweep covers. Oh, hey, she remembered how to say my name. Yeah, this is bad. You know what I hadn't considered? What if we end up dating to Tissiphany? That's gonna make things real awkward with, uh, with Meg, isn't it? Do you think she'll ever actually say our full name? Peace to Titan blood. And, and if she does, if we get her to the point where she's saying our full name, is that good or bad? Is that the thing I want to happen?
All right. Don't mind me. Force Dionysus. Let's see here. Okay, only six left with the conch shell. We're actually going to max that out pretty soon. All set. And here, we don't need any of this noise. Alright, all in all, I would say that was a very successful Tartarus. And I think we're well set up for this. Like, we have we have good range. We're not going to have to stand in the lava too, too much, probably. <laughs> Zagreus is very excited to get back to learning. Oh, hey. I almost didn't see that. Come and get it. Funny thing is, I feel like um, this is the place that they stand out maybe the most of all the biomes. And yet. Oh, he stopped walking forward so that I wouldn't hit him with it. It is unfortunately very difficult. Ah! I was not in the magma. Come on now. What, Simon Belmont rules don't apply in the underworld? Push, push, push. Getting some real good results from Poseidon. Feeling good. Well, I kind of, kind of got myself punked in a really ugly way <laughs> several times there. Uh, no offense to Hermes, but I think we're probably taking the palm. Right, let's try it. Stop him, riches now. <laughs> that instantly killed about half of them. Yeah, the slam damage is just like it's extremely powerful. Useless. I'll take it. Well, we have made so much money this run, so hold on a second. We do already have side hustle, so yeah, Hermes isn't even gonna give us another hit on family favorite. We're taking the double palm. that's a pretty effective strategy that doesn't even, even though it contains the spin attack, it doesn't actually require us to be close to enemies for almost any period of time. Back. There we go, that's how you're supposed to do that. Remember to charge it up. Also, a properly executed spin does give us a lot of safety against enemy projectiles. The spear in general, I think, is really good for blowing up enemy projectiles. I suppose I didn't really think about it, but actually, um, Athena boon on the attack would also have been really good. Power of Olympus. Uh, just 6% more damage all of the time is... Well, it's not everything, right? It's not going to affect our breaking wave damage or anything, but I think this is probably the right call. Zesty. I would have liked it on our attack or our special. But what are you going to do? You know, I never noticed that when you uh, when you hit the button near the boat, it actually rises up. When it's just sitting at the edge of the dock, it is sunk into the lava so much that the lava fills all of the skulls. That's a really cool little detail. I was going to say, if the money bag's back there, we might actually go for it. <laughs> Boy, this is a weird little shop, huh? I'm going to take this. Tart and tasty. Okay. It does, the bonus does apply to those, which is cool. Our urge to kill is now uh, way too high level, actually. Thank you, mate. Still don't want to take that. Um, Ares's aid is interesting and might be worth, might be worth the pull. Yeah, let's do that. Well, 
the thing is, we're heading toward Dionysus, and Dionysus' aid is really powerful. I like that one a lot. I'm gonna actually take Battle Rage, even though I don't think Battle Rage is great. So I'm trying to save room for our buddy Dionysus, who's been a little slow to show up, frankly. Slower than I would like, certainly. Here goes nothing. Yeah, because we're gonna we're not gonna be able to get the duo boon until at the very best the second boon we take from him. <laughs> yeah, jeez. I mean, I thought that the uh, I thought that the watery explosion upon pushing enemies into barriers thing was gonna be good, but I definitely underestimated it. It's it's incredibly powerful. Obviously, completely useless against bosses, unfortunately. <laughs> Zang! I heard you got to Orpheus. He's got this whole entire ballad now about how you are really me. Or maybe it's the other way around. I have no idea. <laughs> Here. I really hope we get yes. to hear that at some point. Okay, let's take Trippy Shot. I like that, and now we are now we are qualified for the duo boon. So we just gotta pull a couple of boons from them, and it'll Best come up. Asphodel. It'll show up eventually. Where are we at? Twenty one. Yeah, so we have a clear. couple of chambers left before we leave. Okay, well he's probably dead. Did he actually die? Okay, yeah. I think so. I'm really bummed out that I took damage for that. I wanted to get the, you know, the coolest possible version of the attack off, and I think I did, but... It's probably not actually worth taking damage for. <laughs> Listen, style counts. Style points are not nothing. But they probably count like a limited, I don't know exactly how much, but it's it's certainly not infinite. It's not as much as health. God's grant me strength. Okay, this I like. Okay, so we have a money gate. Yeah, I'll take the money gate over this stuff. Let's go see what's in the well. Sure and sure. That's possible that we're just going to get that duo moon. And it's going to effectively waste our yarn. And then we'll never need yarn again. Actually, no, yarn is still useful, because it the duo boon just makes things epic. Yarn can still force it to heroic. Oh yeah, I do so love onion. Yo, what is the hell? What is the hell? You know, Hades, what is the hell? Um, what the hell is with the number of enemies that spawned in simultaneously at the beginning of this wave? This was not an easy one. Also, this guy is resistant to pushback. He's not really going anywhere when we hit him. Okay, we got a wall slam there. Oh, Jesus. I can't believe I didn't take a hit there. Okay, it hit him even though he was on the other side of a barrier from it. I am so close to bad. So close to the bad thing happening. So many All times. Right, I've seen enough. No problem. Uh, it's, yeah, it's gotta be shop, given these options. And then this is gonna be the pre-boss chamber, right? Yep, it sure is. Well, give me this now. Um, uh, hmm. I don't think any of these are great options. Extra blessing. Extra blessing. 
none of these are great either. Is life affirmation the last thing we need for her? No, we don't have blown kiss. Cast shoots farther and is stronger against undamaged foes. Huh. That's interesting. I, I don't think we've ever been offered that. Alright, I'm going to take... Uh, we're going to take life affirmation. Any max life increase rewards are worth 36% more. It doesn't actually seem bad. And I guess we've just never been offered it in a situation where it made sense to take it. Alright, so it looks like this whole duo boom thing that we were angling for is not working out, but we got a different thing going. Wonderful to see you once again. This is the head that shoots the lava, right? It shoots the uh, the lava balls that make it hard to stand in places. Yeah, it sure is. Oh right. I'm not actually sure what the best um standing, like, cyclic DPS is going to be. Does it make sense to do the charge for the special against a single enemy where I could just, where it's safe to just stand and poke? Obviously, in any case where I need to not be close, um, the special's going to win out. Okay, this really, really sucks. The, um, the amount of the stage that can be made unsafe for me to stand on is really, really heartbreaking. Do you want to, like, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Did you want to become vulnerable again at any point, or? I mean, this is working. Uh, that, that should not have dealt damage to me. Not even to say that attack didn't hit me, but just, like, I couldn't have stood much further away from the center than that. I don't know. I feel like at that distance I should be safe from the pound. Alright. Please stop doing that. Yeah, I like this thing where I get to fight pretty safely because the main Hydra Head is bad at attacks. Except for when it does this. And we definitely want to apply the weak. So that's a good reason to charge up the special. Come on. We all know you're going to do it. No, you're not going to do it. I'm just going to sit here and hover menacingly at you. Alright. I'm pretty sure I can deal damage to you from here. Yeah, if your AI is broken, I'm just gonna take full advantage of that fact. It's, it seems like we might have found a small error here. I have no compunction. That is absolutely fine. And clear. Okay, and we did rank up our cup. So, at this point, if we were offered the duo boon, would I even take it? Honestly, I don't know. Let's put on the palm blossom and see if it, uh, see if it does, in fact, give us two levels with each application. Because if so, that seems pretty great. Bot. Enough of this place. In the bag. Do I think we're going to be able to beat Extreme Measures Hades with this build? Honestly, maybe. I, th I think we got a chance. Obviously, we can't control we can't control his spacing the same way we can control everybody else's, but I, f I feel pretty powerful. Oh, man. I think we would not take the duo boon if it were offered at this point, and that means that I want to go this way and get... I would love to get an increase in our spin effectiveness somehow. I don't even know what exactly I'd be looking for there. I just... It's so good already. I want to apply more stuff to it. You know, I want to play in the linear. Oh, I was gonna do it. Why are you not taking damage from getting slammed into the wall?
I mean, in Elysium is where you start to see the case that the, uh, the in you start to see it be the case that the individual rooms are super dangerous. They're like, things that work against little guys but not against bosses totally have value. But I'm having a real hard time getting the pushing enemies into stuff bonus. Okay, quick spin. Seems very, very good. Although, triple jab is also definitely interesting. It's gotta be quick spin, though. Right? With this build? With this aspect? Okay, Dionysus versus a heart. We are only at 185, which is a little bit low. I'm gonna take the heart. Oh, you know what? Dionysus' call is the thing we're looking for, though. Yeah, maybe this is wrong. I think part of the problem is that we seem to only be able to push back um, these guys, the eyeball guys, every so often. Like, they only they only take actual pushback on, like, one attack every five seconds or something, it seems like. Once they're in eyeball form, we can just kind of bounce them all over the place. Ah, yes. Let us not forget the majesty of the festive fog. Weirdly enough, the chariots uh, slide a lot better than the guys do, even even sideways, it seems like. Ah. Uh. Hey, you know, I'm not saying I expect Hades to work out the physics of how their wheels should behave, but it does feel weird that it's so easy to slide them sideways. Um, uh, it really isn't. I don't even think we're going to take this Hydrolyte. This is... Well, it would leave us above 350. Yeah, okay. I was going to say it's maybe a little too expensive with us, with us about to go to the shop, but that's nah, fine. Alright, Dionysus plus Pomegranate? Well, okay, that's fine. Let's take the Palm first, I guess. Should help keep me going. Uh, and we'll grab... 2% more damage doesn't necessarily seem all that great, I guess this? Honestly, maybe it was the 2% more damage. And I think at this point we're gonna not take the um, the money. We're, we're gonna not do the boss fight. Uh, Typhoon's Fury is definitely interesting, but Rupture affects bosses. Yeah. Rupture will be up like 100% of the time against most, uh, most enemies because it's applied by our attack. Tell me, short one, where is your own armored suit? I would prefer not to do battle against one who's ill-equipped. You know, my father keeps the dress code very strict down there in Tartarus. No armor in the house. Never tried the stuff. <laughs> I really like Zag's Hades impression. Dress code. I too follow a code. And it's a code that strictly states I cannot let you pass without a fight. And that also I must never converse pleasantly with anyone. Okay, gotta be real careful. I don't get myself caught in my animations. Yeah, Rupture's really good against Hysterious. Dude is always moving. Ah, I thought I was close enough to the wall. There we go. Oh. I wasn't ready for the triple jump. I mean, this is going pretty well. We can play slow like this. Okay, really was expecting him to get stuck on the thing. I think the problem is he has limited turning radius, right? If you get him too close to it, you can't make him crash into it. Oh, he got stuck. I wasn't expecting him to get stuck. That panicked me a little. 
Ooh, I think we actually got the backstab on both halves of the spear throw there. It seems like you, if you get him close to the thing enough times now, he just sort of like steers into it and they just give it to you. Ugh. That thing where he sometimes just stays in place for a spear throw, for a uh, leap, really caught me off guard there. Come on, turn around. Got him. The double backstab. Oh, I thought he was going to leap in. Yeah, he's a little inconsistent, huh? He doesn't always do his full combo. It's hard to know what to expect from this guy. Also, Jesus, the, the area covered by our spin really is incredible. Mmm, I don't know, man. I think if you check the tape on that one, you will find I was not in the graphic. I beat the okay, I took, I took a lot more damage there than I would have liked. In the name of Hades. Really? Man. Okay, well... Uh, if I think it is the case that we probably are going to lose this one, which... I do, because we're still learning the, uh, we're still seeing what the whole Hades fight looks like. It doesn't feel so bad to, like, just take a bad boon, a boon that has no value, and this boon has functionally no value. Uh, positive outlook is actually quite good, but it's just like, do I want to complete the prophecy? Because this is his whole prophecy, right? Yes, at this point, after party. Okay, I'm going to take it. It is quite bad, and we will never take it again, I'm sure, but let's get it out of the way. He's trying to respawn. Well, the cast is just not going to go anywhere useful, apparently. It refuses steadfastly. So once they get into um, respawn mode, apparently once you break, even if you break them out of it, they can no longer be moved, I guess. Yeah, the festive fog is really helpful. I've been underusing it for sure. the animation for the spear, um, the spin attack. It was a good idea for them to create a, uh, to create an aspect that's very focused on it, because in most situations, it doesn't make a lot of sense to do the spin attack, and then you never get to see the very good animation. Alright, we pretty much just have to get these guys to commit. Oh, interesting. I thought that we had... Hmm. I thought it was the case that if you hit a spear guy in the front and forced him back into a thing, he didn't take damage because you hit him in a way that doesn't deal damage. And I thought that had been reinforced by, like, our last run through here, but apparently it's just not the case. Well, that definitely gives us some different strategies available here. I... Boy. It's so hard to tell when these guys are even attacking, because they just, like fly around the room and do whatever the hell they want all the time. As much as I grouse about the shield guys, at least you can know at any given moment what a shield guy is doing. The spear and the sword guys are just My like... Reward. Incomprehensible. Uh, ooh, yeah. Power Double up. the bonus of the rupture. That seems pretty good. So, where are we headed next? Okay. If we were headed to do a real store, it would definitely affect our spending patterns. 
Oh, interesting. We've never seen this before. Prevent flame wheels foes from appearing in encounters. I'm not going to spend money on that, but that's really interesting. So... You know, I would take Aphrodite's call. We should get somebody's call. Did Daedalus himself build all of this? In the name of Hades. It will not be hers. Okay, well... I like Sweet, Sur Sweet Surrender. I don't think that it's... Um, Hit the spot. Totally ideal in our build. We, we don't apply it all that well. We're trying. We're trying to keep the weak up, but you know... It's a lot easier to just spam the attack button. In a lot of cases. Oh. So I think what happened there is that we slammed the enemies into each other, which caused them both to create an, a wave explosion, which pushed them both away into other stuff. I really, really like the uh, explosion move. Oh, that's right, we have, we have two sources of weak. We do have it on our dash as well. Ordinarily, I try to focus on the butterflies, but we can make some exceptions for uh, <laughs> for bow guys. Oh my! What a nightmare! a number of projectiles coming from a number of angles, such that it is functionally impossible to dodge. And, like, even destroying them just makes there be more projectiles. Yeah, like, that right there. I can't move. Ugh, it's stuck by the table. Okay, no, we still only get one level from the bonus on this. Of the gods. That is a real shame. Hmm. I think Sweet Surrender is probably the right place to spend this. Yeah, man, that would be that would have been a really uh, a really compelling reason to use the palm blossom if it worked the way we were hoping it worked there. All right, it is boss time. I think we have a pretty decent build for this. I think we can do it. I'll pay for that. Hmm. You know, that does seem good. And we have so many weakens with the with the dash. Uh twenty percent bonus damage on attack, yeah. Alright. <clears throat> I think we should be able to do this. We got messed up pretty badly against Asterius, which I guess does give me pause, and the fact that we haven't been offered a call in oh, a biome and a half is also rough. Come, blackguard, and be crushed beneath the raging wheelwork of the Macedonian Tau Lambda once again! Theseus, you do know you look even more ridiculous than normal wearing that mask. I get the chariot and the unsporting weaponry, but why wear that thing? It's a good question. Ah, this blessed mask was crafted by great Daedalus himself! A work of art, and my entitled claim as champion. What has he ever done for you? You know what, I just won't answer that question. I'm sure it would break his heart. To all who came to see us fight, thank you! I'm so worried. I don't, I don't know where he is. And so I don't know if he's going to shoot me in a second here, or... Wait, I took damage? I... Hmm... I feel like he pretty clearly crashed into that pillar. I guess I was too close to the pillar. Ow. Okay, well... I did see the charm effect thing go off. I'm assuming you can't actually charm Mysterious. Yeah, I'm... I'm taking lots of bad damage here. I wonder if there's a joke in it being a, uh, a Tau Lambda. Alright, I was dashing, but apparently not dashing enough. 
so yeah, we're gonna, um, we're gonna maybe get to Hades. Certainly not gonna have very much health when we get there. And I'm just getting hit by absolutely everything. What even is... No mercy to monsters. Hmm. We were behind the chariot, so I didn't get hit by the chariot. I'm honestly not sure what dealt the knockout blow to us there. Boy, I sure hope that I actually get through this fight. I'm starting to think it's maybe not looking that likely. actually did that correctly. That's good. It sure would be helpful if we had a, um, a call. Oh, uh, not quite. Not quite again. I got it. I do still really love him laughing maniacally while <laughs> firing his chain guns. That's a very fun image. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep rupturing him and I'm gonna let him bleed to death here. Because it seems like a pretty safe strategy. I don't know what he thinks he's doing, but this is not helping him. Oh, Zeus is a tough one. Now yeah, remember, we can actually hit him more often than usual if we're smart with our um, if we're smart with our throw, or at least sometimes we can. Obviously, when Zeus is out working, it's a bad idea. Uh, but because we can hit him from the back even when he's facing us, which is a thing we usually can't do, we have uh, a little bit better damage uptime. Okay, well we managed to not spend a second life. What a loud mouth. What a find. Although it was closer than I would have liked. <laughs> to my greatest fan. Yeah. I like, I like how jazzed they are when we show off a move for them. Oof. Really, really rough one. Okay, well, the Palm Blossom is leveling up very slowly. So we got seven encounters during that biome. What do I think we need? Maybe it's the Lucky Tooth? Things are not going that well. We definitely need to toughen up. I think we're going to take the Lucky Tooth. And then probably Life Essence is pretty smart here. To help for sure. I'm not necessarily concerned about, so just... about us getting through sticks. I think we have a pretty sure. solid build for sticks. We have a lot of area damage. It's just a matter of getting to Hades with a reasonable amount in the tank so that we can actually try to learn the fight. I will say, we probably got pretty unlucky during the last Hades fight. Um, him summoning the backstab, like, if he's going to summon a mini boss, that might be one of the worst ones that it could possibly be. Okay, let's go heart. Hey. They were just, like, endlessly bouncing off of each other and the wall over and over again. That's lovely. These very tiny chambers are going to be really good for our build. Yep, as I was saying. Holy crap, I gotta remember, the camera is zoomed in further than usual. 
Like, look at this. We hit almost the entire chamber with that. There is nowhere that anyone can hide. This blasted place again. Huh. Wait, was that one actually just a lot shorter than usual, or...? Oh, that's nice. We got a... We got a charm in there. Don't you dare. Don't you dare poison me. Okay. No, hit stuns. Hit stuns forever. Never not hit stunned. The satyrs must be fashioning those things. Yeah, so it turns out, like, 100%, it is easier to do the, uh, the branches that have skulls on them with some builds. Need to keep looking down those passageways. Uh, so we have enough money to buy a kiss of sticks. I'm gonna go down the other skull passageway, then. Aphrodite's really coming through on that legendary boon. I guess it makes sense, like, 15% of all weakens. We we put out a pulse of weaken every time we dash, plus we have lots of other good stuff going on. If we ever threw our spear, that would be another source of weaken, but, like, why bother, right? We'll, we'll do it against difficult enemies. Enemies who are far away from you, also. Like, obviously, down here, there's not a lot of that going on. I like using the attack to bounce an enemy off the wall and then catch them with the spin. Yeah, even this guy is like... He's burning down real fast. Okay, we got him down to broken. Yep. Okay. Oh, right. Don't stand there. That's where the trap hits. Um, hmm. Well, positive outlook. Uh, so it's like 25 max HP versus 10% flat damage re resistance. I think it's probably this. We actually have a lot of health in total. I do wish that that had not been the common version of that thing, though. Alright, so we got to maintain at least 200 money. We'll buy this right now for safety. Yeah, I mean, we're going to end up with a whole lot of health. So, who is next? We're still looking for a call. Here goes. Ares' call is pretty good. <laughs> I didn't even see all of it. It just kind of it just kind of happens. You make the first collision occur in a room that size and then they just sort of they just sort of happen in spite of you from there. Somehow I stopped hitting him for a minute. I'm not sure what happened there. It's actually harder when there aren't other enemies to bounce them off of. Like with the little rats dying instantly as soon as they take any damage, they, uh, they don't really provide a good bumper. This is going to end up being a pretty long version of Sticks. I'm hopeful that that well right there will contain the kiss we're looking for, and if it does, then we might actually be in really good shape. Okay, let's just take a second here. A little surprised I didn't take damage from that trap, because it sure looked like I dropped that directly on my own head. It's a perspective issue caused by the uh, by the three quarters perspective. You like that Boy, that went really smoothly. Our messenger Hermes has been in contact with you by now, yes? Perhaps you shall not see him very often, for my work keeps him rather preoccupied shepherding souls and such. 
No, that dude is everywhere. I can't get away from him. Uh, ooh, boy. 30%? Wow. I know I was just saying we still need a call, and we do. But 30% damage for basically the entirety of the Hades fight? Like, a huge percentage of the Hades fight. Um, seems really good. I'm gonna take this. We gotta do one more this branch cool. anyway. We'll just, we'll get a call from somebody else. Damn it. Uh, let's grab these then. So, I don't know for sure if we actually can encounter more than one well. I'm try I, I don't remember if we have. So we're just gonna hope that we possibly still could and not spend a ton of money. Where is the fishing point? Is it the one over here by the shop? So yeah, we'll go to Aphrodite next, I think. Her call is pretty good. I mean, it's just one big chunk of damage, but one big chunk of damage is a solid thing to have against Hades. He can't use dumb tricks to escape it. Maybe it's in here. Maybe it is in here. Alright, Seder down. Poke. Poke. That's called restraint right there. It sure would be nice if a well would show up, wouldn't it be? Wouldn't it? Uh, yeah. You know what I'm trying to English. Look, sometimes, the thing about the English language is, it's uh, precise, it's verbose, it's not usually super efficient. It's maybe one of the least efficient languages. Here we are. Wow, we burned through that real fast. Olympus, I accept this message. Okay, uh... I mean, we are not usually going to be near Hades when he hits us. I guess it depends on what near means. Again, these like generic or these vague ex descriptions do make things tricky. I'm going to I'm going to take this, I guess. It'll probably work on the very least at the damage from his sweep. Loves whatever this stuff is. And then we're just going to have to go without a call. Whatever. I don't I don't need the help of some gods. We could still maybe get Poseidon's call here. Let's hope for Poseidon's call. I'll pay for that. <laughs> okay, you huge asshole. I mean, I guess what a terrible boon. Good enough to eat. Yo, that's a lot of damage. So that's seven damage every 0.2 seconds for almost the entirety of the fight, right? Because we will constantly be reapplying Razor Shoals. I think that's actually going to end up being better than Trippy Shot, which I'm going to miss a bunch. But high-value Trippy Shot does make it easier to kill the Bloodstones. I don't know how much health the Bloodstones have. If they have less than 120, then it's probably right to take the Razor Shoals. If not, it's probably right to take this. I'm going to take this. Juicy. Joyfully, the Hound of Hell accepts another satyr sack. You know, we were going to see two more gods. I figured I one, boy. pretty good odds that there would be a uh, there'd be another call available. And 30% bonus damage. Honestly, it probably still was the right call. 30% bonus damage for more than half the fight is going to be significant. Got here as quickly as I could. Extreme measures permitted even still. You must have forgotten to change the conditions of your pact of punishment. Wasn't an oversight. You're strong, father. I want to be as strong and more. Not that I'm taking after you or anything. You wish to test yourself against the full extent of my wrath? Then very well. You have earned that right. Besides yourself, only the Titans have. Now then, attack. Okay, hey, that's pretty uh, pretty good company to be in, I think. Oh, cowardice. Watch out for his 
weird triangle dash that he does now. Oh, and also the double spin. Okay, well, I was trying to... I, I tried valiantly to, uh, to iframe the second spin. Yep. Okay, so they have over 240 health. It may well be the trippy shot is not sufficient. Okay, interesting. I was expecting the charm to do nothing on him, but it looks like it does make him non-hostile to us for a second when it makes contact. So that's useful. Especially because he's going to um, he's gonna find that he is accidentally wandering through our um, through our wake a lot. Oh god. Oh no, I Yeah, that's pretty much guaranteed. Wow, it was giving us backstabs for that. We were we were like 45 degrees off of the dire the direction he was actually looking in. Yeah, this isn't even going to be close. I shall turn you from our sight. Okay. So right there, I got frozen at the end of a, like, the projectile, in order to do the, what, the thing that it looked like happened there, I would have had to have been hit at the beginning of my dash, and then frozen in stone at the end of my dash, which is not... That should not be a thing that can happen. There is no escape. Yeah, okay, I'm just a super dad. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna maybe take my hand off the keyboard here and let him, <laughs> let him have it, because uh, he's clearly earned it. I don't know why I can't dodge anything right now. Feels really bad. It feels like I am. Feels like I am just heavy and slow. The um the constantly disappearing Medusa head is a real nightmare. I mean, Extreme Measures Hades is definitely harder than normal Hades. Did make it this far, at least. I'm not sure if that if the extra mini boss needs to have an additional teleport and spend 80% of the time invincible thing. Uh, it probably would be it. enough to just summon normal mini bosses, don't you think? What? This is gonna take a while. It is it is gonna be a bit before we get this. Wait, wait, wait. So what's all this about you working here? I thought they fired you, and that was why you left. Nobody liked my muffins. What could I do? Hypnos, you think all these times I've died, it's because I was upset I was let go from a miserable job. Why else? It's the only thing he can imagine that would upset him. Your Highness, over here. Oh, you have a very important exclamation mark today. As you may know, lad, I have a connection to the weapons that you use, having once wielded one of them myself. Of course, not knowing its significance back then, but I digress. Sometimes it, well, it keeps in touch, and I have a vision from it to impart. Okay, why didn't it just give me the vi- I'm currently holding it, why didn't it just give me the vision? Oh, do you mean a vision from Varatha, the Eternal Spear? That's out of the ordinary, and also a bit concerning. So what did you see? Well, I saw a great bearded warrior, bigger than me, pitch black hair, bearing an aspect of Varatha unlike any with which I'm familiar. Then he was gone, but what still lingered were these words. I see you through the eyes of the Crimson Phoenix. Huh. I see you through the eyes of the Crimson Phoenix. I don't understand. What's that supposed to mean? There's one more thing. This was not my first such vision. Long ago, I saw one of Varatha's other bearers. It was you. Your infernal arms. They must be weapons of the fate's design. They know already who shall brandish them. Now they ask a favor. Seek Varatha. Speak the words. Go. I see you through the eyes of the Crimson Phoenix. Well, that's very curious. I wonder if this has if this is how we're going to get the fourth weapon aspect for it. 
And if so, I wonder what it is we did to earn it so that we might do it with the other weapons. Oh, Cerberus. Doubtless you deserve the biggest thanks that this house still stands, don't you? Did you enjoy the treat I brought you from the surface? <laughs> the surface treat devouring hound of hell provides the queen a most decidedly affirmative response. I thought you might. You wouldn't know it wasn't made of meat, I'll bet. I'll see if we can't grow you plenty more. Hmm. I wonder what she's talking about exactly. <laughs> the, way we're, the way we're positioned here, it sort of looks like I'm being prompted to pet Persephone. You had enough to eat lately, haven't you, boy? Listen, I know in Greek myth they get up to some stuff, but... You'd think a video game could have some restraint. <laughs> the video game, the most noble art form of our day. Hey, Orpheus. I figured that you've heard by now about how I bested the Minotaur Asterius alongside Theseus, the champion of Elysium himself. I don't think I even broke a sweat. I scarce can possibly imagine such a spectacle, my friend. But certainly I shall attempt to try. Did he make fun of me just now? A little bit. He kind of implied that I am not capable of the thing I said I did, which I am not a big fan of. Somehow I always knew, you know that you were not my birth mother. Uh, I mean, look at Hypnos and Thanatos. There's no way that I could have been related to them. Everybody knew, and yet, when I finally learned for certain, it was still a shock. Hmm. You know... Okay, again. In Greek myth, they get up to some stuff. The fact that Zagreus and Thanatos would then have been... half-brothers. Do we know... Wait. How does parent... Do we know who their father is? It's probably not Hades. They would be more important if it was Hades. I guess it probably wouldn't have been a hurdle, is all I'm saying. I always knew, in turn, that you would learn the truth of it eventually. And I was fearful of what would occur after that time arrived. I'm grateful it has come and gone. Though, tell me, I still find I call you child. Is your preference that I cease to use such terms from this point on? No, Nix, please, it's quite all right. You may not have given birth to me, but you still cared for me. I never doubt that. Likewise, are you sure it's all right that I continue to address you by name? It is more than all right, my child. I mean, how else would you do it? Patch up the seating, update the menu, clean the stove, stock the honor bar, sweep the rug, dust the rafters, mop the flooring, pay the broker. Oh, um, sorry, Prince, way behind on my assignment, so if you'll excuse me, please. Do so, wait, before you fly away. There must be something I can do to help pitch in with everything. Doesn't matter how good you are at your job, what you're describing, that's more than one individual can handle. Your Highness, please. I know you mean well, but I have this. Wish everybody wouldn't doubt me all the time. Like that house contractor just gets to stand around waiting for work orders. Unless they come from me, then no. The house contractor isn't cooperating with you, huh? No wonder so many lounge renovations are clogged up in the works. Though maybe I can grease the wheels a bit. Ah, I completely forgot! I need to get more cooking grease for the head chef! I have to go! She's running herself I mean, ragged. It's probably not actually, like, critical on account of nobody here needs to eat, and also many of us don't have faces. Head chef? Here's what I caught lately. Totally worth it. That was a pretty weak fishing trip, actually. We got all the way to the end and only fished once? I must have missed fishing points. What am I composed entirely of gemstones? All right, more lounge stuff. Can we buy the cake? Let's buy the cake. This is not really going to help that much with the, with the work orders, probably. Contractor, work approved. It is it unlikely eaten, that this was a thing. But it can be displayed for all to see. It's unlikely that this is one of the things that Dusa was trying to get done. Well, we'll keep working for her. We'll do what we can. Can I? Interact with the cake? I cannot interact with the cake. I was hoping there would at least be dialogue. Oh, little, a little disappointed. Got an achievement, apparently. A little disappointed to find that Meg is not here. Never oh, right! Lord Dionysus around. I forgot we did that. Okay, well, we'll go spend those in a second, too. First, obviously, gotta practice. Uh -huh. Hmm, 
doing it. Just keep just keep at it. Thing is, I mean, it'll, it'll come eventually. Notes are emerging. You cannot say that those are not notes. You know, quarter notes. I think I saw an eighth one time. Once it was a chord. We're getting there. It's happening. All right, let's go see what the deal is with our spear. Now the time has come to shout at my spear. Through the eyes of the Crimson Phoenix. A new aspect. Who's Guan Yu? I know who Guan Yu is. That's really interesting. Yeah, like pulling in, pulling in figures of other kinds of myth. I mean, I think Guan Yu might also have been a real historical guy, but certainly the Guan Yu that everyone in our time knows is a mythical version of, of that guy. You have the Frostfair Blade, but your max HP and healing are reduced by 70%. Uh, the Frostfair Blade must be pretty goddamn good to be worth all that. Well, I mean, we can't, obviously, we can't not use it. So we're going to go, I'm going to go trade some Ambrosia for some blood. And we're going to do a thing here. I was thinking we would go sword next because we haven't really used the sword all that much because I don't like it very much. Uh, but obviously, that's getting delayed for this. Uh, let's update the lounge a little bit more. We should probably, yeah, it's the stools. That seems important. Well, I don't see why not. I think this is going to be a better look for the lounge seating. Also, probably more comfortable. I would really love to update the seats around the tables. If I don't know why that's such a difficult thing. Let's go with this. Oh yeah, is this the one? Comfortable seating I shall never use. Well, it's not for me, Zag. Okay, there we go. That's better. I think the lounge is starting to look pretty nice now. What do we got? Twenty-five left. Okay, we'll hold off. We'll save our gemstones for when it is uh, when we can next afford more lounge upgrades. Uh, so, hey, broker, I need blood. Can you hook me up with a whole I'll bunch of blood? 70%. Man. Okay. Then we're going to try it. We're going to try it. We'll try it and see. It's got to be pretty damn good, though, huh? Baratha. I wonder what we did to finally earn this. I mean, it's probably... I was going to say it's probably not a coincidence that it happened while we're wielding the spear, but honestly, it absolutely could be. Hmm. Grant me the aspect of Guan Yu. Okay. Wow, what in the world is that? It is a great question, my friend. Good to go. Oh, it looks very fucking cool. Okay, that's definitely a different and slower combo. Oh. rather than a stabbing. Press Q for crackling skewer. Okay, it's a it's a shot. It doesn't actually throw the spear. And it has what looks like maybe even a larger dash strike than normal, which is impressive because the spear's dash strike is always big. Okay, so it turns it into a ranged weapon. You lose a ton of toughness because you now have a powerful ranged weapon. Hmm. Out of curiosity. Yeah, wow, it actually, it's effective all the way to the edge of the screen. Skelly, would you please... I'm trying to test some stuff here. Okay, so right there. So it has a pretty wide cone, too. Hmm. How much damage does this hit for if we do it right up close? One, two, three, four? Huh. I mean, it's definitely interesting. I think it's really cool. No, that's not what I'm trying to do. I think it's really cool that it pulls in figures from other kinds of mythology. That makes the weapons so much more impressive because now they're not just a thing that's sort of like linked to this story, but they're, you know, they're greater weapons. They're, they're greater... Oh, boy. Brain. I can't brain out the thing I'm trying to say. You know what I'm trying to say. It makes them more impressive because now they are weapons of myth in general rather than weapons of this myth. There we go. That's a better version of the thing. Okay, well, I guess this is where we ought to call it for today. I don't know what the hell's going on with the... the okay, it, it caught up quicker this time at least. Uh, when you come back next time, tomorrow, or, or whenever next time is, 
Uh, we will be attempting to get out of Hades with 30 max HP. My guess is it's going to be kind of a short one. And we'll see you then.